reporting is a big deal for all of our customers that are using the DCOM software. And the nice thing about DCOM is we actually have built-in reporting that is very user-friendly. The way we do reporting within the system is we start with what we refer to as our pre-filter screens. So I like to bring up a couple pre-filter screens within the software to also show you the consistency you'll find throughout the entire software. So this is a purchasing pre-filter. Next to that is a sales pre-filter. What I'm showing you here is the consistency you find as you move through the software. So once I learn how to use one pre-filter, I now know how to do all the reporting throughout the entire system. So this is reporting on purchasing information. This is now reporting on sales information. The way these work is we start with a report type. So if I go in and say, you know what, I wanna look at a ranking report and I wanna rank that in this case by customer. I'll hit view and very quickly, I have a ranking report by customer. Now let's say, you know what, I like this report, but instead of looking at it by customer, I wanna make a change and I only wanna look at this by product. So I'll hit view. I now have a ranking report by product. I may say, you know what, this is also very nice, but I only want to see all the products for one specific customer. So I come back in, I go and filter down to a specific customer. Now I hit view. And now I have a ranking report for all the products for that one specific customer. At the end of the day, these pre filters allow me to sort down by categories and sales and territories and any of these different fields that we may want to have as part of this which is gonna give us the detail that we're looking for in our report. Now, once I'm in here, I can do things such as add columns, delete columns, do calculated columns. I could also sort by any column just by clicking on the top. And then at the end of the day, if this ends up being a report that I wanna go ahead and save, I may wanna save it to one of my favorites here on the right-hand side. I may wanna save it to one of my BI pages here as part of my home screen view. What I can do then is I come in to these, what's called publish data, identify where do I wanna add this report to? What description do I wanna give this report? And then these start and end dates will really drive the specific dates that I wanna see. So I could do month to date reporting. I could say what happened yesterday, what's happening today. All those different date ranges could then be used here to display this information. All I need to do then is go ahead and save this report, and this will now be added to my favorites. So as I look at my favorites here, and I go down to the bottom, what we'll see is that sales ranking today report was actually added to my favorites very quickly. So at the end of the day, we're trying to put the power into the end user's hands to be able to do their own reporting, create their own favorites, create their own BI pages without always having to run to an IT resource to do that for them.